I've recently bought an Elgato Stream Deck, and I want to show you how it helps me with my workflow for orchestral composing in Studio One. The Stream Deck is basically a simple macro bar with assignable buttons. What really makes it shine is its simple yet capable software with sheer endless possibilities for customization. Some applications like OBS, Twitch or even Cubase are already integrated in the Stream Deck software. For everything else, there are fully customizable hotkeys and even additional functions you can download from a free store. I'm a Studio One user, so I'll have to make my own functions. But worry not, it's super easy thanks to Studio One's macros. Most of what you'll see should also work in Cubase, as it has a dedicated integration in the Stream Deck software. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you like what I'm doing. But now, let's dive in. Be exciting. The start page of my Studio One profile is for navigation. The blue icons on the top are folders for MIDI editing, recording, mixing and more. We will take a look at them in just a bit. On my navigation profile, I can create and delete tracks with the push of a single button. But even better, I programmed it so that the Add Track button automatically loads a contact instance on that new track. You can of course do the same with other instruments like for example Sign Player if you don't use contact. In Studio One, simply create a macro with the actions Add Tracks and then Add Instrument to select a track and you can easily specify the instrument you want to apply. With the arrow keys, I scroll through the project and switch between tracks, which is great in combination with this button. It opens and closes the instrument editor. This is specifically helpful when creating a template or whenever I need to add many instruments at once. If I want to create a string section, I can simply add the tracks, press the instrument button and then drag the violins into the contact instance. Then I press the button to change tracks, add the violas, press the button again, add the cellos and so on. This also works nicely for settings you need to apply to many instruments individually, like purging or disabling the internal reverb. The eye icon opens visibility options. I used the existing Studio One macros, show strings, show brass, etc. and bound each of them to a hotkey, which I then applied to my stream deck and gave it a nice icon. With the strings button, it filters my template and only shows the strings instruments. With the brass button, only the brass and so on. Simply make sure that all your strings instruments are located in a folder called strings and it should work immediately. Here it shows all instruments again. And with this button, it collapses all folders and returns to the default state of my template. Another bread and butter workflow for me is recording MIDI and then editing it in the piano roll. For both of these, I have a folder. When recording stuff, I can toggle the metronome and the pre-count, tap the tempo, enable step recording and, of course, record. After recording my MIDI, I switch to the piano roll folder. I can open the piano roll and apply a full or half quantize, humanization and automatic legato to the selected MIDI notes. But the best thing hides behind this icon. Here I can easily apply articulations with the push of a single button using Studio One's new sound variations. You can easily create a macro that listens to a specific name in a sound variation, for example legato. Assign a hotkey to this macro and it will switch to your legato sound variation for that instrument. Do the same for the other articulations and voila! You can select certain notes of a phrase and apply a different articulation to them. This way you can combine a smooth legato with short notes and other articulations on one track to make your melodies and phrases more lively with very little effort. I created articulation presets for strings, brass and woodwinds, simply because some articulation names vary. A tremolo for strings would be a flutter tongue for brass and so on, but they're mostly the same. The cool thing is that the Stream Deck button Legato will always pick the correct sound variation even when using libraries with different key switches, as long as the sound variation is called Legato. I also prepared a mixer folder where I can open the mixer and add inserts to the mixer tracks. With this button I can add an instance of Neutron to a track. And here I can apply an entire mastering chain. I still have to find a proper mixing workflow, so this profile is still pretty empty, but there are many great possibilities here. The last icon opens Studio One's file browser and doesn't have any extra functionality yet. I think the highlights here are definitely the track visibility options and the quick articulation switching with Studio One's sound variations. Buttons for MIDI editing like automatic legato and quantize options as well as the recording parameters like step record and metronome improve my workflow and with a bit more optimization I can even integrate a nice mixing workflow into this. Do you use any other great Studio One macros that make your life easier? Share them in the comments. I hope this was helpful and I will see you soon.